during the previous decade that numbers of small tortoiseshells particularly were going down quite substantially in Hertfordshire. Well, Sturmia bella is the, uh, the, the scientific name for it. And we believe this parasite, which only came into the country about 10 or 15 years ago, has, did have some quite material effects on the, on the butterfly population. It lays its egg on stinging nettle leaves near to where peacock or small tortoiseshell caterpillars are feeding. Being typically hungry caterpillars and greedy and eating everything in sight, gobble up the leaves of the nettles which they're feeding on, but they also eat the egg. Once the caterpillar grows, it, it pupates. What it's supposed to do is to hatch out of the pupa as a butterfly, um, but if it's eaten one of these eggs, what happens instead is it hatches out as another fly rather than the butterfly. Go and have a look at some butterflies. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, um, I think 2017 was the year when uh, they started coming in in June and they were all in by the end of the first week of July. That's what made me realise that something really unusual was going on. There's three sections on this butterfly walk. Um, the first the first section's round the door, the yeah. door frame. Yeah. Now one year the, it was plastered with small tortoise shells. I think the year when we had over 30 there were lots that were all round the door. There's one, yeah, that's it, there's four. Three tortoise shells and a peacock. Oh I think. right, so, so four. And then there was there was there's another one, one five. One, that's not so a there's tortoise shell. Six, seven. So two tortoise shells. There's another one behind you over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Well, once you get your eye in, there's actually loads. So if you if you can bend down slightly here, that one has been there about two weeks. It's nice and cool, constant environment and there's not a lot of daylight in it. So all of those, I think, are the features that make it so attractive to, to butterflies. They usually stay in much the same place until March or April next year. What's happened in recent years is that they've all gone into hibernation at, the, at this time. So whereas sort of three or four years ago, they started going in hibernation in July and there was some went in in August and some went in in September, What's happening for the, this year and the previous two years is they basically they've all gone into hibernation in July. Sounds like they might be doing slightly better than people thought. Is that the case? Yeah, I think I think that's right. I think um, certainly in Hertfordshire, but possibly across big parts of southern England as well, a lot of the small tortoise shells are going into hibernation pretty early. I mean, the big butterfly count, which butterfly conservation promotes um, each summer, is usually the sort of towards the end of July and early August. And by that time, most of the small tortoise shells around here are already in hibernation. So numbers that have been spotted on the count have been dropping because they've gone into hibernation earlier. And we think the early hibernation is a response, um, probably through sort of natural selection. Those ones that were predisposed to hibernate earlier are, are still doing well, whereas small tortoise shells that are used to be flying in August and September numbers have dropped a lot because of attacks by the predator.